Okay, I'm here with Cinebench R15. And my old score was 942. I've now upgraded, well, updated the overclock. And now the first two cores are at 5 gigahertz, and the second two cores are at 4.9. So let's see if it's stable enough to complete the little test. I couldn't get them all to 5 gigahertz, I tried. It just crashed when I tried to even boot Windows. And from the looks of it, it's gonna crash again. Yeah! Stop 101. What is that? Looks like I'm gonna have to live with 4.8, maybe. Like, have the last score at 4.8. Life of an over. Oh my god. Life of an overclocker. Got to rape that delete key. And overclocking really is this simple. Watch. Turn that down to 48. And now, hopefully, it'll boot up. All right, meanwhile, I have a tra a file transfer from here and gonna go, go on there onto this computer if, if they can ever boot up. Start Windows normally. One thing I can try to do is have the first score at five and all the rest at 4.9. Actually, I'll try that if this um, setup here doesn't work. Welcome. Will it ever welcome me in? So far, it seems like no. Oh, here we go. Yep, you have to do that every time in order to get the aspect ratio correct. It throws again somehow. And this time just opening Cinebench, not even trying to run it. Yay! There we go. There's 124. I'm familiar with that. That means hardware failure, usually. Although, when you're overclocking, it doesn't mean anything. There goes the door.
All right, let's try this again. Obviously having two at 50 is not going to happen. So let's have three at 49. And the first one at 50. File, file is still transferring there. Thankfully, I don't have so much junk on this computer that it takes nine hours to boot up. Although, I am pretty sure that won't take too long. Welcome. Will you explode or will you let me use this power? I should add a second DVD drive so they can open it together. Let's rose. Yay. Yay, 124. That's the fun one. Okay, so if I can't do that, let's try the bottom one at 48. Solution? Maybe. I always save the profile. Just to be sure. And in case that does fail, I have my other, um, profile to go back to in case um, this ends up not working at all. Actually, I wonder, is this even set up in the right way? Do I have it so that the VRIN profile is set up to um, plus two volts for stuff? I'm going to check that after this fails. If it's not, then that was the whole thing. If it's on, then that was the whole thing. Hurry up, stupid file. Three gig file. Cursor, we meet again. I 
type in my passwords, how much I bet you already know it somehow. Will it even welcome us in? I don't know why that pops up. It's an extension saying it's not working, but then it loads up anyways. So, I don't know. Wait for this to, to load up and then we can test in, in Cinebench whether it will explode or not. Alright, we got to the point where it's at Cinebench, but will it run Cinebench? That is the question. Yay! And it's running at 4.8 GHz versus the 4.7 it was at before. Still going. I thought it froze up and died. With any luck it did. My top score is 942. If this is any higher, it's a success. If it's slower, it's unstable. 961. Wow. We're getting up to 1000. Although, that's a, as you saw throughout this little video. Well, quite long video, actually. Is that, that is the highest it can go. First core is at 4. Point, no, is at 5. Second is at 4.9. And then the last two are at 4.8. And that's where I ended up on. Now it's just time to do Prime 95 stress testing. Actually, let's go and see if the the RIN was even up a lot on this profile. I know it was up on the first profile I had because I was the guaranteed working one. Plus two, like a 2.5 to just give it a little bit more stability in 5.10. I know 1.5 volts is not good, but hey, 5 gigahertz. And I still got all the turbo boost and hyper threading on, too. Alright, the ode profile was, I 
believe 5 gigahertz 1.5 volt or no it was 5 gigahertz extreme but yep save and reset now it should be more stable we will run Cinebench one more time just to see if it's any smoother there or if it got more unstable and I had to um, turn it down to what it was before where it was um, 5, 49, um, 48 and then 47 as the last core the C key on this old Dell keyboards I'm sticking. That's always fun. He lied. every time hello suddenly it's a large one whatever he can just hide out right over there Okay, I guess we're ready to go now, go. 961's the highest. Yep, that's looking more stable. I lied. I guess it doesn't, doesn't matter as long as the numbers are there and they're higher, I don't care, maybe. Nine sixty four. It was that much better. Okay. Save score. Yep. And that's it. Say goodbye to the big old um Intel. It's gonna be a while until you see this on this computer. Because the next time you see it, it will be our nine two ninety five X two time. Thanks, Game Boy out, see you next time.